fans, and welcome to week six of the NFL Thursday Night Football. And uh, we'll talk about the Giants and Eagles game in, in just a second. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football trivia question. And it is a New York Giants one, and because we did an Eagles one yesterday. What player was named MVP in the New York Giants Super Bowl 21 victory? I'll have the answer later on the broadcast. Well, it's Thursday night football week six, and the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants square off tonight at MetLife Stadium in New York. Uh, The Giants are hoping to snap their two-game losing streak with a win tonight, and the Eagles need to give up, need to not give up so many yards in this game tonight. And they are really going to come out and play hard tonight. They're going to have to really do that. And the Eagles need to really put the pressure on Giants QB quarterback Eli Manning and the the Giants passing game as well. Meanwhile, the Giants are coming off a two-point loss to the Panthers in week five last Sunday. Uh, The Giants need to really put the pressure on Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz and – the Eagles' offense and defense and running game as well as their defense as well. Uh, the Giants are also battling some injuries right now. Uh, tight end Evan Ingram is battling a knee injury, and Rhett Wilson, who is out for tonight's game, with a foot injury. And uh, offensive lineman uh, Evan Brown is also battling an injury. Uh, quarterback Kyle uh, Loretta, defense, who also bat- is battling an injury, Defensive tackle John Jenkins is battling an injury as well. And safety uh, Cameron Moore Cameron Moore is also batting an injury for the uh, Giants. Uh, the Eagles also have a few injuries. Uh, safety Corey Graham has a hamstring injury. Running back Darren Sproles has a, also has a hamstring injury. Uh, defensive tackle uh, Haleta Nagata has a calf injury, or a well, calf injury, I guess you could say. Uh, for the Giants, uh, Ingram uh, will, uh, Evan Ingram will uh, will miss his uh, third consecutive week with a sprint um, MCL, and while he is expected uh, to return in week seven, the Giants will have to navigate uh, rough waters with his primary backup, Rhett Ellison, who is also out uh, with a foot injury. Uh, and in the absence of their two top tight ends, the Giants will rely on Scott Simonson and Garrett Dickerson. As a result, they may play more uh, more 11 personnel than they, than they uh, have this season. Than this season. Than, than they have this season relying on their wide receiver and running back, Saquon Barkley, to stretch the field. Uh, For the Eagles, uh, despite being downgraded to offensive tackle, uh, downgraded to questionable, excuse me, I should write that, uh, questionable, questionable for tonight's game, Uh, defensive tackle, I mean, offensive tackle, excuse me, Lane Johnson warmed up with the team on Thursday night and was given the green light, and he'll be uh, tasked with uh, shutting down Oliver Vermin on a high ankle sprain. So uh, Lane Johnson is going to play in tonight's game. Now, I have picked Philadelphia to win tonight's game, and I feel they're going to steal one on the road and win this one. By a final, and I'm going to say 33-2. to. 227. I'm going to say that by a touchdown. So we'll see what happens with this game tonight. And I got to tell you, I feel like this is going to be a really good game tonight. And uh, I really got to say that um, the Eagles, uh, they need to snap this two game uh, losing streak. And the Giants, they're going to be out to win tonight. And, and um, they're going to be uh, really come out and play hard. They're, they're going to be really. Uh, ran and ready to go to the Giants tonight to really try to come out and win this game. And I feel that the Giants really need 
they they struggled a few games. They've got to really step it up tonight, and their offense has to step it up, as well as their uh, defense. And the Eagles, I feel they they've lost their last two games, and they really need to come out and they really need to uh, play hard because they're going to be out to win the to win this game and uh, snap their two game losing streak. Now. And uh, Carson Wentz, I thought, looked great in the game last week, even though the Eagles came up short. But they need to uh, really come out and uh, give the Giants a run for the money tonight. And I, and I really feel that that is what they uh, need to do in this game tonight. So, uh, and I really feel this game is really – this is going to be one of those uh, division games, like a division game I really – that it's really tight. That it's really tight, and they really need to really come out and I think play with a vengeance. I'm going to say tonight, and that's why I think the Eagles. I think the Eagles are going to steal one on the road and win this one. I mean, not that I feel the Giants won't win, but I, I don't think it's going to be this game tonight. I feel I feel Philadelphia is going to steal this one on the road tonight. So we're we're going to have to see what happens in this game tonight. And uh, I got to tell you now. I think this is Philadelphia's uh, second Thursday night game this season. And they won when they played, uh, uh, I think it was, mm, I, I got, uh, let me look back in my, I think I know the, it was a few weeks, I think it was the opening day of the season, I think, the, the opening week, I think. When they, yeah, they beat the Atlanta Falcons 18-12. Uh, to 12. In the opening week, it was a very low scoring game. It was a good game, but the Eagles managed to prevail in that game, and they managed to get the win as well. So, this is their second Thursday night's appearance for the Philadelphia Eagles, and that's what I feel. Even though the Giants are at home, I feel Philadelphia is going to steal this game on the road and win this one. And they are going to win this one by a final, I feel, and I've said this before, 33-27. to 27. So we'll see what happens in uh, tonight's game. And uh, I want to take this opportunity, uh, I know I'm getting off track here, to congratulate uh, Saints quarterback Drew Brees on uh, uh, breaking and surpassing Peyton Manning's record for the uh, most rushing yards of all time in NFL history. And the ball that... He broke that with is now at the Pro Football, the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Uh, well, and I just feel, and I, Drew, congratulations, buddy, and you deserve it. And I know they're going to have a big celebration all week and all weekend in your honor. Now, we're about to talk about tonight's game uh, a little more in just a sec. But it's now time for the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football trivia question. What player was named MVP in the New York Giants Super Bowl 21 victory? If you said uh, Phil Simms, you are correct. Uh, quarterback, Giants quarterback, uh, former Giants, okay, Phil Simms, you are correct. Quarterback Phil Simms was named MVP of Super Bowl 21 after setting Super Bowl records for most consecutive completions which were 10, and and highest completion percentage, 88%, the Giants defeated the Denver Broncos 39-20. to I'll have another uh, trivia question on my uh, next broadcast, which would uh, uh, maybe, I don't, it will probably be on Scott Sports 101 NFL Football Sunday. Now, getting back to tonight's game and between the uh, Eagles and the Giants, uh, I feel that 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 the Giants. I really feel they have a lot of injuries, and I don't know if it's gonna, it's going to help them. But they need to step it up tonight. And Saquon Barkley is going to have to really stretch the field. And they're going to be relying on um, Scott Simonson and um, Garrett Dickerson, and they're really going to have to step it up tonight too if the Giants want to win this. So I, I think it's it's not going to be an easy game for the Giants tonight, but. They they do have a chance to win, so but I I think Philly is going to uh, prevail in uh, this game tonight. So I I really feel that the Eagles are really going to win this one on the uh, road. 
Now, I will be back with a uh, post-game show once the game has uh, uh, concluded. But for now, that's going to wrap it up for this uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football uh, pregame show. Uh, and, I'll, and I just said this. I'll be back with the postgame show immediately after the game has ended. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.